One of the many lessons learned during the Deepwater Horizon oil spill was that communities needed to make a hazmat a training available to any interested citizens. Now before, there were so many citizens who wanted to help defend our fragile environment, but they weren't able to because they didn't have training. Thanks to some amazing organizations, this has changed and we're going to speak about it before we go today. Phil, thank you for being on the show with thank me. Thank you very much, Jennifer, for having me here today. You are welcome. It's a pleasure having you. And now, Phil, you represent the U.S. Coast Guard Auxiliary. Correct. And you guys are one of the organizations that's now made this hazmat training available. That, that's correct. And we've been offering it now since June in the in throughout the county. We've had sessions in Marathon in Key Largo. And we have one next weekend in Key West, which will be our third one. And we've had tremendous response from the community wanting to volunteer to be ready in case we did have a major oil spill here in the Florida Keys. And what's wonderful is that these classes, Phil, they are free, free to the citizens. It's free and the, the class is actually called HAZWOPER, which is Hazardous Waste Operations and Emergency Response. And it's the minimal safety standard that you need uh, required by the U.S. government to do any type of volunteer or response uh, in a major oil spill or any kind of hazardous material spill. Uh, anywhere in the nation. Okay, and now explain what the people do during the classes, Phil. Well, it's it's uh, basically an eight-hour training course uh, that uh, you learn how to uh, identify mm -hmm. hazardous situations, uh, how to evaluate them, how to respond to them, not only the hazardous situation but the risk that are involved with uh, these situations, and learn how to be a volunteer and the r responsibility of a volunteer uh, working with a large organization for a single goal to help uh, protect our environment here in case we have an oil spill. Which is so important that we have Correct. all these citizens ready to do that if needed. Correct. Now, you mentioned that this is the third one. How have the other ones been, Phil? We've been averaging about 100 people per class uh, throughout the Florida Keys mm -hmm. and people from all walks of life. We have had doctors, we've had lawyers, we've had nurses, school teachers, shop owners, fishermen, dive boat owners, marina uh, managers, uh, mm -hmm. you name it. Everybody, every walk of life here in the Florida Keys, the single thread being, you know, they wanted to do something to, to help in case it was needed in the future. So it's been a tremendous response. That's wonderful. That's neat too that you've had so many people from so many different walks, like you just matter, like you just mentioned, different walks of life doing this. That's correct. And and we've had uh, we have a good registration, pre-registration for the class coming up on the 18th in mm -hmm. Key West. We expect to have really a full house there at the Harvey Government Center in Key West. Okay, so if any of our viewers are interested in this, they still can register, Yes, correct, correct. just by the number uh, on mm -hmm. the screen. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing all this information with us this morning. Well, thank you very much. And, uh, you know, we, we, this is something that the auxiliary will continue. It'll be ongoing training into the future. Well, and we'll keep everybody updated on all of that. Yeah, thank as you well. very much. Thank you. That's going to do it for me today, everyone. I will be back on Tuesday at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Thank you for starting your day off with me. Have a great rest of your day and a great weekend.